Packers and the Cowboys at 4 Eastern. Check your local listings Sunday on Fox. The Cowboys are currently 2-2 two and two heading into their showdown with Green Bay. The Dallas running game, which was ranked second in the NFL last year at this time, is ranked 14th this season. Ezekiel Elliott was asked yesterday about the struggling running game. Take a listen. We're taking a little bit longer to, to progress this year, and I really don't think it's a bad thing. You know, you'd rather be hitting your stride, you know, mid to late season than, you know, peaking early and, and you know, not going that, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, as long as you hit your peak, it really doesn't matter how long it takes you. Uh, you know, you could lose six games in this league and still go to the playoffs, and as long as you hit the stride at the right time, then, then you're good. So, I mean, but there's no panic in this locker room at all. Joined by FS1 NFL analyst Eric Dickerson. <laughs> Welcome, Eric. Yeah, you can you laugh doing? now after Sunday. <laughs> can I still laugh? You laughing at Zeke now? Yeah. Do you like that Zeke said this? I like Zeke said that. You know, everybody wants him to mature. That's a sign of maturity. He's right about one thing. Um, the running game sometimes come last. I can think back in 1983, my rookie season. I started out pretty slow. I think I started out with 98 yards, I think maybe 85 yards the next week, um, another 80 yards. And then by the fourth week, that's when I had my big breakout game. 199 yards against the Jets. So the running game comes sometimes, like I said. Jets were bad back then, huh? They were bad. Well, they did. <laughs> even, even 199 yards. Wait, how do you remember every one of those numbers? They're like. You, you, it's, it's, just, you, know, you remember? It's just certain numbers. And you play, when you're a player. Well, you, you know. Wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. That's right. But, you know, you just know. You just know the numbers. Yeah. And I do like what he said. You know, it takes a while. Jackie Slater said this to me a couple of months ago. He said, Eric, he's By the way, Jackie Slater. Jackie Slater is my offensive line, yeah. my offensive mm -hmm. tackle at yeah. the Rams. He, we were talking about the running game. He said, Eric, he, one thing with, with us, when you got to the Rams, our offensive line had been together six and a half years. He said, Wendell Tyler had took the blunt of the punishment. Right. So when I, you got there, we were seeing <laughs> off there. We ready to go. <laughs> so most definitely, I liked what he said. I liked how he said it. And he's right. It's nothing to panic about. The Cowboys are 2-2. Two and two. They're not 0-4. Oh so right. I don't think it's panic time. About to be 2-3, and three, but that's not here nor there. <laughs> you know, he said, well, if you win six games, you can get to the playoffs. Zeke was talking about college. You win six games, you get to a bowl. <laughs> you win six games in the NFL, you're not going to the playoffs. He's right, Skip. It's still early. But what's concerning is, is that on first down, Zeke is two and a half, half of what he was last year. He's 2.8 now. Last year, he was five and a half. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference because now they're putting the ball forth and Dak to throw the ball a little bit more than they want him to. If I'm, if I'm Zeke, I'm not concerned about my offense. I'm concerned about my defense because how do I get that better? Ain't nobody can come in. Now, offense, they're going to pick it up. They can, they can do some things. Uh, maybe not run so much on first down. Maybe throw something short on first down to make it second and five instead of just trying to hand the ball to Zeke. But what seems that can't be fixed, Skip? Yep. Unless Randy White and Ed Tuttle and Harvey <laughs> Martin coming back, is that defense. And Tapper. Wait, David Irving's coming back. Well, Charles Best Tapper. Passer. You know, Charles Tapper, you I said know. he had. That. I loved him. Now he broke his foot. Gone. Oh, okay. Sean Lee, hamstring. Mm -hmm. Gone. Not oh. going to play. A Wuzier. Yeah, maybe going to play. Lewis. Going to play. Nolan Carroll. Going to play. Woo! Anthony Hitchens. Going to play. No Sean Lee. No hope. No, no, no. Don't do that. No chance. No, don't do that. No chance. You're picking it. Aaron Rodgers, the greatest <laughs> thrower of the football ever. I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to let you do it. Huh? Well, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm objective. The, the running game will get on track, but the question is, if they continue, it, it might get on track, and Zeke might have to get 25, 30 carries mm -hmm. to get his 105, 110 yards. Can you win the game if a team continuously takes Zeke away? Do you believe Dak Prescott? You do. And defensive coordinators don't believe that because mm. they're making concerted effort to stop Ezekiel Elliott. Mm. And they're saying, okay, Dak. No, get Shannon Sharp doesn't believe No! One-hit wonder. I didn't fluke. See. Aberration. <laughs> Flash and pan, Skip. Dak Prescott. All, he said it. I didn't true. say it. Not, not all, true. All, I'm say, all I'm saying is, mm -hmm. is defensive coordinator, it appears to me, you know, I, I don't want nobody mm -hmm. laughing at me because I'm asking a football-related question, but it appears to me that the defensive coordinators are geared up and said, look, Ezekiel Elliott is the engine that makes this train go. Mm -hmm. Now, they got a conductor on there. Skip think it's all about him, mm -hmm. but it's the train. It's that mm -hmm. engine in the yeah. train, not the conductor. So until Zeke or Elliott get mm -hmm. the running skill back, yep. your team's going to continue to shoot. Mm. Maybe <laughs> until he drops a couple of pounds. Or Stop saying that, Skip. Why is he standing oh, fat? I don't like is he heavy? I don't like He's a little heavy. I don't think he, I mean, all that barbecue. His jersey the other day, I'm like, Ooh. Whoa, you saw Whoa. that? 
I, I, hey, what did he say? Feed me. Yeah, no, no, feed like me, too feed much. Me. No, do it the other way. Unfeed me. Uh-uh, but see, Skip, I thought, I thought he made that feed the ball. He was eating on the sideline. <laughs> he was eating on the sideline. That stomach was probably like, ooh. All of which is why I do not like what Ezekiel Elliott said because I, I think it reflects a new attitude of these fat cat Dallas Cowboys of mine. <laughs> and to me, I'm getting sick and tired of this too cool, we got this above it all attitude of the 2017 Dallas Cowboys because you don't got this. They got it. You got it right between the eyes at Denver, 42 to 17. You got it right in the behind from the Rams the other day. Kicked right in the tail. Bow, the bow, half. You got dominated. Your offensive line got blown off the ball by the Rams' defensive front throughout the second half, just as the way they got it handed to them up in Denver. And Zeke wasn't Zeke in the first half, second half because I think he just ran out of gas because he's toting a couple of extra pounds. Stop saying that. And Des Bryant ain't Des Bryant anymore. I don't know where he went, but I don't know this guy because every time he tries to catch a pass, it's like this, right? <laughs> It's not 2016 anymore. And I love this team last year because that team played scared all year in a good way. You, there's a thing called good scared. It's what Greg Popovich calls appropriate fear. It's when you've lost your starting quarterback and some kid who's a fourth-round pick out of Mississippi State gets thrown into the fire and everybody sucks it up and takes it up a little higher because you're worried you're going to get blown out when you go up to Lambeau Field to play Aaron Rodgers, when you go to Pittsburgh to play Ben Roethlisberger. And they, they won game after game because they were afraid they were going to lose game after game. Then we had to go through a whole offseason, and you know how Dallas, Texas idolizes its Cowboys because you true. played at Southern Methodist University there. They even idolized the ponies in those days, sure right? Did. They did. It was Dicker James. That's what I called them. <laughs> Eric Dickerson, Craig James. They were something in those days. He took a pay cut going through huh? the range. Well, anyway, we're talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. But the point is, all of a sudden, they started fat catting because they started hearing how great they were in Dallas, Texas, and they backed it up on opening night because they had one big revenge game. They had to get even with their nemesis. The New York football giants beat them twice last year. It was really their only two real losses last year until the playoffs because they mailed in the last game at Philadelphia. So they took care of the Giants, and it was over. It's Super Bowl. Here we come, baby. And then Denver happened. And then they barely survived thanks to Dak Prescott's three plays at Arizona on Monday night. And then they just got whomped in the second half by those Rams, who are legitimate, but you played a great first half and a lousy second half. And now it's like, we got this. It's all okay. We're going to be okay. We'll peak a little. You're, when are you going to peak? When you're two and six? I don't know. Because you're, you're going to be two and three. I don't see how you can beat Aaron Rodgers without Sean Lee. Hold on. Are you, hold on. But what about, what about this? Now, Bravado and Westgate and all these gambling uh, uh, hotels that gambling set the line yep. say the Cowboys are favored to go to the NFC. They, they saw that to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. And then Skip Bayless picked the Dallas Cowboys. I did. So now you all. You know what? That doomed me because they said, you know what? We got this. And now you wonder we, why. We they, don't even have to but, play but, these but games. Look, We're just now, automatically they're, they're, in the Super Bowl. They're two and two. I mean, they're two and okay. two. It's not like they're 0 oh and four or they're 1 and two. I mean, okay, but who's coming to town? But, yeah. Oh, but still, still. He scored 34 the last time he was in town. What was that? Wait, 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 what was that? Last year. Mm -hmm. This is a new year. Oh, yeah, year. that's past tense. past tense. Said. The thing oh. about the Cowboys is that, right, the defense, they're, they're terrible. That's what you need to They lost 40% of the offensive line. They lost two guys, right tackle, mm -hmm. right tackle, and left guard. That hurts. Look, when you got a chain, a chain is like this. Well, I agree. You pull on it. Okay. You got some weak links somewhere in that, in that offensive line. Okay, but it's I feel like the three players ranked in the top 25 of all the NFL players are, have become weak links because they're getting their butts kicked. They still, but they're still missing two linemen. The thing about right. offensive line is, is they make the calls. They make all the calls. You have to get used to no. one another. So I would say... Give him a couple of weeks. He's right, he's right about the running game. I know, I know if I give him a couple of weeks and, and they fall to two and four, what, 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 will so you help me so out? So they three and two, then what? Huh? So they go four and two. Three and two? I'll take three and will two. Will you be back on the yeah, well, I told you they were going to be. When, when is their bye? They got a bye coming up soon. After this week. Oh, I told you they'd be two and three at the bye. That's what I told you. You didn't want to hear that. They're two and two right now. But, but you tell me that with no Zeke. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Oh, yeah. the commissioner called again. The commissioner Did called him again. Hey, Zeke. This is Roger Goodell. Yes, Mr. Commissioner, I ain't forgot about you. 
clear. You know what? Y'all gonna be worried about? Yeah. It. You know what? Maybe you should just go on. Don't and do that, Skip. Come on, Skip. Come on, now. You swallow it. Go, get he, get he it might, over he with. He might eat. He might eat. I, I got Alfred Morris. You, you know, Alfred Morris. He he touched the ball one time, goes seventy yards you, with it. You hear, you hear what Ed saying? I mean, if you're away from the stadium. Ain't no running, more eating. <laughs> that six that six pack gonna be like a pony keg. Yeah. He got that he got that spade stomach. Now that thing that got hard, he's sitting under like he this. What you got? He's I, hanging with you too much. No, I eat no, no, no. By the way, much, I, I must say ten dog, right? He, even at his greatest, Emmett Smith had a he's a little butterball. He had a little, little Exactly. Pot. So he that, did. that didn't hurt him. Oh no, it didn't hurt him. Emmett ain't gonna like that now. Mm -hmm. like but he had even he knows. He, 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 he you're back on the Cowboys bandwagon. No, no, no. I look, I'm just saying there's no time to panic. You know, my team took care of business last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your team yeah, took you, care of business. You're not panicked at yeah. all. You know, I'm not panicked. Yeah. Well, Patriots get back on track tonight in Tampa. We'll discuss that next.